Good afternoon, it's Robert and Julia Miller with the Jay Patel Group and Rethink Real Estate with another exciting real estate update for you. As always, we'll start with a joke. Um, it's strange how drinking eight glasses of water a day seems impossible, but eight cups of coffee go down like a husky kid on a seesaw. <laughs> true, very true. Just keep drinking that coffee, especially yeah. cold mornings. Right now it's not yeah. as big of a deal. But. I can drink eight cups of coffee by noon without even trying. <laughs> you got a joke for us? Well, I actually have a saying in honor of Mother's Day. Oh, that's nice. So it may be possible to gild pure gold, but who can make his mother more beautiful? Oh, that's sweet. Gandhi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wise man. So you'll have a joke for us next week? Yeah, I will. Most okay. likely, yeah. I look forward to your jokes. Okay. <laughs> Good. Okay, so we have a lot to cover, so I'm going to try to be as brief as possible. I know everybody is not as excited about real estate news as we are, so I'll try not to uh, make it too lengthy and boring. Uh, we did sit in on uh, Tina Tambir of the Comfort Report's uh, latest Valley update. Uh, got some good news, some not so good news, but um, more good than bad. So, Open Door has resumed operations in Phoenix. That went into effect on May 4th. So, um, they're the first of the iBuyers uh, with Zillow and OfferPad being the two other big players. Um, they were the first ones to announce that they are going to be uh, presenting uh, purchase offers to uh, home sellers again. So, anybody who was waiting for that, um, they are back in business as always. We can certainly help you navigate that process, so don't hesitate to reach out to us. Uh, we've got a lot of experience uh, working with the iBuyer, so we know some of the pitfalls and things that you, you have to be aware of. So yeah. um, don't be afraid to reach out to us on that. Um, we could conceivably see, as we've talked about previously, we could see a balanced market by June, the end of June. And again, what we're talking about is we've been deeply into a seller's market for a number of years now, and we're seeing with what's going on with the slowdown uh, in the economy, we're seeing that gap closing. And we could conceivably be at a balanced market, you know, 100, no, no better benefit for the buyer or the seller uh, by mid-June. Which is always great when it's a balanced market, but man, with our inventory, I just don't know how we're going to get there. Um, yeah, and it again, it's just prediction based on a model. Uh, if things get right back to normal real quick, it could reverse and, and never come close to that. Right. But as it's trending right now, we could conceivably see that right. happen. Um, a little bad news on the, the one area of real estate that we're really seeing affected the most is the Airbnb or the second homes. Mm. Um, a lot of those were rented out for our high season and they got at the last minute canceled and it just basically wiped out our vacation season this year with the timing. Um, and unfortunately a lot of those Airbnb owners have their homes highly leveraged and they're counting on that income to uh, cover their their holding costs and their mortgages right. on those and so some of them are in trouble and yeah. uh, seeing quite a big drop in, um, in those going into forbearance and we're also seeing a lot of those coming on the market. Now, on a buyer side, that's good news because most of those fall into that 250,000 to 400,000 range, which is the inventory area we needed we the need, most. Yeah. Those were the, that For price sure. point that there was almost no inventory uh, to speak of. So this will give yeah. buyers a lot more opportunity on the good side, but uh, not so good news for the sellers. Um, she talked about deferment versus forbearance, and I want to get into that a little bit later when we get into the mortgage side. You're so talking we'll, about Melissa? Yeah, Melissa we'll, we'll talk, talk about, about okay. uh, where mortgage interest rates are and what's going on in the mortgage industry right. here in a little bit. Um, so we are seeing um, that increase in inventory, uh, pretty substantial. It went up about 63% in that 250,000 to 300 range, and it was equally up in the 300,000 to 400,000 range, about 49%. So, but it is quickly stabilizing. So um, if you are a buyer and looking for a little more opportunity to, to pick a home, 
Um, if the pickings have been pretty slim for you, yeah. this is the perfect storm. You have incredibly low interest rates and you have a lot more inventory to look at. But this is going to quickly stabilize and probably start heading in the other direction soon. So strike while the iron's hot. Um, yeah, we're seeing the days on market fall. We're seeing those uh, new listings come on, but the days on market are pretty low now right we were Most seeing a has. period of time where inventory was growing pretty quick but now it's stabilizing and it's pretty much one on one off yeah. and it's it's kind of leveling out so right. um, if you're ready to buy now is the time to do it um, okay. if you're expecting prices to plummet mm -hmm. like they did in 2008 don't wait because that's not going to happen no we so, had a report come out saying 94 percent of metro metropolitan markets are seeing price increases right not decreasing so if it's the times right for you the interest rate is right for you do it yep now's the time to take advantage of it um, yep. again we expect um, we're kind of at the peak of our normally would be at the peak of our buying season we would start going down into a slowdown in the summer and again our prediction again it's just a prediction is that everything is going to get pushed into the summer that mm -hmm. pent-up demand is still there, and it's just going to get pushed into the summer, yep. where it would normally be kind of winding down now. And I think we'll probably set records for summer sales this year, and then hopefully by the fall and winter, everything is kind of leveled off, and we're, right. we're back to a normal market. Right. Okay, um, interest rates. Uh, again, as we touched on last uh, report, was that conceivably... Um, Fannie Mae was predicting that we could see sub three interest rates by the end of the year and low twos, mid to low twos on highly qualified buyers uh, yeah. by next year. We're already seeing a little bit of that uh, right now mm -hmm. for a conforming 30 year loan, 3.311. Incredible. Incredible. Incredible interest rate. And yeah. uh, Melissa reported uh, with Bay Equity this week that she did price a high two um it was a va loan and that's coming in at 2.984 wow so for you that are using va benefits um this is a great opportunity call to, melissa yes call melissa this is a great time to take advantage of that um the uh again you know lending tree also put out very similar numbers on what they're finding um Across all 50 states, um, we saw the um, interest rates fall. Uh, looking at 2019, April, um, we're down from the mid fours, 4.75, yeah. uh, down to the uh, 3.95 nationwide, and Phoenix is actually at 3.86. Again, that's all kind of loans bunched together, but right. um, it just gives you an idea of how much of an opportunity this is right now. Um, mortgage applications um, saw a 12% uptick last week, so that shows that uh, buyers are having a lot of confidence and they're mm -hmm. coming back into the market Good. pretty quick. Um, and we're also seeing a lot of refis. Refis were uh, up considerably uh, last year, I think 20%. And um, compared to last year, now we were at 4.75 rates last year compared to about 3.75 this year. So we're up over 218% from last year. Home on, ownership is still a good choice. Yeah, on yeah. refis. This is a great time. If you've been yeah. waiting to refi, now's the time to do it. Might I feel well like I'm a money. spokesman for the mortgage department, the mortgage industry right now. <laughs> well, it's a big it's, part of our industry, yeah, so we the, have to talk about it. We have to know what's going on. Right, so a lot of good news going. coming out of the mortgage industry. So mm -hmm. get in touch with your mortgage professional, and um, this is the time to take advantage of that. Um, so forbearance um, versus uh, forgiveness or deferment is what they're calling it. Now, anyone, I hope there's no one confused thinking that the forbearance means that you never have to make that mortgage payment. That's not what that means. The way this is set up is to help protect people from foreclosure during this difficult time, uh, especially those under uh, reduced work or unemployment. Basically, the forbearance allows you to skip payments. Say you have to go three months without a payment, and then in that fourth month, you're going to pay everything back. The three months that you, that you put off plus the fourth month that's due. Right. It's now, not I, really even skipping. It's just 
pausing. Yeah, them. you're just pausing and pushing everything Push. out. Yeah. Now that's much easier said than done. If you've been unemployed, it's probably yeah. going to be difficult to come up with four months rent in one Sweet. fell swoop. So um, work with your lender. Work with your call. lender again and yeah. understand the difference. Mm -hmm. It's not your your mortgage payment's not going away. Yeah. Now, they are working back and forth, and this is the National Association of Realtors and um, um, the other uh, government uh, financing um, parties are working on what they're going to do for those who can't pay it back at the end of the forbearance. So yeah. basically now we're talking about a deferment. Um, and. Megan Booth, uh, National Association of Realtors, uh, talked about this a little bit, um, where forbearance is the process of delaying mortgage payments. Um, we have about 3.5 million homeowners right now that are, are in forbearance. Wow, that's quite a bit. Okay. Um, now, if you end up uh, owing uh, quite a bit of money at the end of this and you can't pay it, what they're working on is coming up with other options for you, which would be fall into this deferment uh, category. Mm -hmm. um, deferment to the end? Yeah, we're looking for clarification on that because that's one okay. thing that was talked about, but it hasn't really been put in mm -hmm. writing, no. uh, pen to paper, and put into stone is the way we're going to do it. But right. um, the... the uh, basically, what they're clarifying is that it would not be it would not require homeowners who take mortgage forbearance to make up all the missed payments in one lump sum. A payment plan could be worked mm. out with your servicer. So again, Good. do not delay. Do not hesitate to reach out to your servicer. They want to work with you and they want to uh, help you get through this. Um, so. Good. That'd be really good. Yeah. I now, can't one thing coming up with four mortgage payments. All yeah, one time, especially that's if you've been unemployed for a period of yeah, time, that's going to be this. difficult to do. Yeah. Now, um, again, it's a little bit tougher right now to get a loan. Um, you you are going to have to have a higher FICO score, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. um, you may ha need a, to get the best rate. You may need a higher down payment. However, they still have five percent conventional loans mm -hmm. out there, and again, they're. Um, you know, there is a private mortgage insurance tied to those, but again, you can get a 5% conventional. So right. again, reach out to your mortgage provider. So have a strong FICO and um, low debt to income ratio and um, 5% down. Yeah, that's a good point. The the uh, debt to income ratio is a little bit higher where right. you were seeing some sub 50%. Now I think it's 50% that you have to have. I think it's the lowest that I've seen. So that's mm -hmm. a good point. Um, so again, if you're waiting for some major price reduction because of the health crisis, uh, it's not going to happen. So don't miss this right. opportunity. If you're ready to buy a home, now's the time to do it. Yeah, again, if you see the house that you like, the interest rate is good with the lender that you've contacted, um, and the time is right for your family or for you, then make the move. Right. Yeah. Typically, balanced market, you're going to have six to seven months supply of inventory on hand yeah. and available, but um, we're seeing far less than that. We're in, you know, we're in the three to four month inventory right yeah. now. So again, still in a seller's market, but better than it was. We were in the two, two month supply of inventory heavily That's into crazy. a seller's market. So you do have, for buyers, you have a lot more inventory to consider. So that's a good, that's a good thing. Um, some of the predictions that the experts are making, um, Ivy Zellman, president of Zellman and Associates, we expect home price appreciation to decelerate from current levels in 2020, though easily remain in positive territory. So you're going to see either flat, we've been kind of reading what everybody's saying and we're hearing flat to 3% has been what we're saying, hearing and everybody is still in uh, repeating that. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're not going to see a great loss of appreciation in home value through this. Um, and there was one more for uh, Chief Economist for First America, Mark Fleming. The housing supply remains at historically low, low levels, so house price growth is likely to slow, but it's unlikely to go negative. So everybody right. is kind of on board that we're not going to see uh, Negative, negative appreciation so, now. 
Bottom line, even though the economy has been placed on pause, it appears home prices will remain steady throughout the pandemic. So that's good news. And, and into the recovery. Too. Yeah, and into, into the recovery. Yeah. So, okay, that's all we've got for you. Hopefully that didn't drag on too long. A uh, quick update on our mask making. Yeah, I um, was wondering when we were going to get to this. Wow. Uh, we read a lot of posts, you know, we get a lot of feedback, uh, see what people are saying. There's been a lot of controversy about wanting to get the economy going and a lot of uh, businesses that are posting, uh, we are requiring that you wear a mask, you know, and it's an infringement. A lot of people are pushing back going, that's an infringement on my rights of freedom. And uh, we're not going to get into that. We're not going to get in we're the middle of that <laughs> at all. You know, yeah. everybody has their opinion. And what that's we're going to get into is that performance review, I think. Uh, no, no, uh, I'm, I'm, I think we're good on the performance not, agreement. I, mean, I, I think we should get into it because there's well, been some lacking in performance. I actually see it at a different angle. Uh, I think I should be promoted to president. And I think you should start calling me Mr. <laughs> president. Oh, yeah. I, I, think right. I'm I think I'm entitled right. to no, keep calling. Not this week. Do you have another title for me? I think that right now you're still at flunky stage and you need to step up the performance. Okay. Obviously, we see my performance a little bit different. <laughs> we do. <laughs> we'll keep working, working towards the middle there. In the meantime, middle, yeah. <laughs> I like the ring of Mr. President. If you could, I'm sure you do. But you could pick that up. That'd be happening. great. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's all we have for you. We are going to continue to make masks. We're at 110 yeah. now, and um, with businesses asking you to wear a mask, we are getting more requests now. So we have more material coming. Have enough to knock out another. Eight or ten, I think. No, no. No, we're no. out. Yeah, we're out of material. Out of material, but we, we have more coming. We're for a shipment to come in. Um, yeah. We're hoping for this weekend. Please, please, please. Yeah. Um. So hopefully that will help, and we'll have quite a bit, quite a bit coming in anyway. So. Yeah. So we'll continue to make masks for people who want them. Yes. Whatever your belief on that is, it's totally up to you. Totally and up we're, to you. If we can help, do what you um, want. <laughs> yeah. If we can help people that are interested in them, we'll continue to do that. Yeah. So. Hang tough. We've got eight more days until, uh, keep our fingers crossed, the um, shelter in place is lifted on the 15th. We're here in Arizona, yeah. Can't wait. I think we're getting enough uh, pressure to open the economy that they're going to go ahead and move forward to that. We're, we're banking on it, we hope. We need yeah. to get back in business. So A lot of businesses have already opened this week. So that's yeah, it's good. gradual, so we're glad to see some restaurants opening up and salons and, you know, I need a haircut. So, um, well, maybe I not. need a haircut. Maybe not, but um, so anyway, hang tough. Uh, we're getting through the end of this and um, Happy Mother's Day. Yeah, Happy Mother's Day to all of you. So, uh, God bless and take care. We'll talk to you again. Yep.